Melanie here with Eyes on the Game, being joined by the World MMA Awards Coach of the Year nominee, Coach Eric Abadassin. We are hours removed from that intense weigh-in. Izzy kind of threw that white belt back at Paulo. Yes. <laughs> you know what? I think uh, the King of Cringe kind of, his spirit must be here in Abu Dhabi because, you know, Eraser isn't used to using props, but... For a world title, you got to bring out all the stops, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I I didn't like the first encounter. I thought it was a little bit too nice. This is a world title fight. Everybody's supposed to watch the greatest middleweight title fight in history. And uh, that was the reason I remember when I had that in, uh, meeting with the schmo talking about let's do the ultimate fighter. Um, because I wanted this this uh, this rivalry to to simmer and marinate, and um, and I think that uh, I think it that that uh, white belt prop was a good idea on behalf of the Thank eraser you. and yeah. and Henry. Yes, shout out to Triple C, the king of cringe. But were you surprised at all by how Israel reacted to that? No, no. I think uh, I think he might have been surprised a little bit. I think he caught him caught him off guard. Um, Paulo is uh, Paulo's a monster when he as, even at, at Wayans. You know, I've uh, he's pushed a few dudes at Wayans before. You know, Paulo looks not all monsters look like monsters, and uh, he might be a beautiful monster. Believe me, he's still a monster. Yes, and we will all see that tomorrow night. But like I mentioned, with the belts, a lot of people now are thinking, will there be a lot more, you know, jujitsu and wrestling implemented in his game plan tomorrow? Oh, I promise you, there will be no running tomorrow. Uh, it does make sense that Israel was uh, signed by Puma because he's one of the fastest runners in the game. But he ain't going to be running tomorrow. He's going to be flying when uh, the eraser gets a hold of his legs with the double leg and throws him on his head. And then uh, social distances his nose from his face by about six feet. So which round or how do you see this fight being finished tomorrow? Second. We've been predicting the second round. And looking at kind of Paulo's resume, because I know that's something that Israel had discussed before. In your opinion, do you think that Israel possesses the toughest challenges for Paulo? No, you know what? I don't. I think uh, I think Yoel Romero was a tougher challenge. Um, you know, maybe that last fight with Israel. You know, that's really. We just scratched that. Um, I think Yoel Romero uh, was the toughest challenge for for Paulo, and I don't think the damage that Yoel took, uh, Israel Adesanya can take. So um, I do think that uh, he's not the toughest challenge. And lastly, what would you like to tell, nice burp, what would you like to tell all the fans tuning in tomorrow because everyone is anticipating? Uh, I would say don't blink because the eraser is going to do what he does best. And he's going to erase uh, the last style bender. He's going to erase him from the category, from the 185-pound category, from the title situation and I think um, uh, Apollo reaches his destiny tomorrow he's been he's been he's probably one of the most dedicated fighters I've ever uh, trained and coached and he's probably the uh, a champion my a championship mindset like like I've never seen before and and you're going to see that uh, come come Saturday night, UFC 253, Hulk smash, prepare to be erased.